So let me tell you what you're looking at. We're I'm I'm gonna go into the we're gonna use what's just called the learning pages, the kind of like a little sandbox we're gonna be playing in right now with it. But we're gonna actually develop some components library in here as well. I gave you the final prototype for this, but one of the things that I'm gonna pull in here is also what's called the design goods. And this is the whole um, iOS 10 component for iPhone, of course, iPhone 10 uh, with it as well with it. We're going to not use everything in here with it. We're just going to use some of them in here as well. I also have a quick um, uh, little screenshot of all the all the commands that you can actually use with it. Now, remember now, the command is for Mac. So I thought I would put all the Macs over here with it. If you're using a Windows PC, it's going to be Control, Okay. So some of the tools that you're going to be using with it, uh, short keys with it as well. Um, so just FYI, that's what you're looking at with it. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the favorite plugins that I have um, uh, brought this in as well with it. So let's come back here to the learning page. This is where a good place, right, with a little sandbox, we can practice our, our basic uh, foundation um, for your Figma in here. So let me um, talk to you a little bit about some of the navigation and some of the stuff with it as well. Uh, right now, you're in the the Figma with it. It has all of these uh, pages that you can create. Of course, I can click on this plus right here, and that's how I create all these pages, right? So I can do just do a sample um, page, you know, if I wanted to. This is how I create the learning page or with it as well. So. Um, just to show you how I did that with it, I can um, right mouse click, delete that page with it. So come back to this learning page right here for a moment. And on the top here, you have some of the tools that you can actually do. Let me just do some pull down menu, this, uh, this drop down menu. You could have the move to tool, uh, the scale tool. Uh, over here is the kind of like the frame, the section, and the splicing tool. It works very, it's very simple like Photoshop with it. Uh, this is your drawing tools, basically. We're going to do a rectangle in a second here. And then you have your pen tool, um, and then you have your pencil and pen tool. You have your text tool, and then you have your different shape tool components that we're going to talk about. I'm going to talk about this, bringing in different components with it as well. And then you have this palm right here allows you to move. Remember how you can use this palm right here as, as, the, as a space bar and move around with it. And this is the commenting tool where you can comment some stuff out here with it as well. So let's come back. Make sure you at this layer right now with it is the learning page. Make sure it's checked. Uh, I'm going to click on the, the rectangular tool. I'm just going to draw a rectangle here. And you notice uh, this rectangle here has a width and a height of, of 328. I can manually go in. Let's give it 2,000. Uh, this is a 2,000 uh, with it. And let's give this height 2,000 as well with it. So it looks like this. And I'm going to zoom out by doing Control minus. I'm on a PC uh, with it. Again, I could take this palm right here or the shift kind of, uh, or the space bar, I'm sorry, and kind of move this over and, and center this like this with it. Uh, the, notice how the moment I click on this rectangle, you can see the dimension on here has changed. You can see the different type of layers that takes place with it. Um, you can do what's a lot of the, the gradient layer that you can actually do, do with it as well. Come over here and you can do a filling of color with it. Um, there's a spectrum of colors you can actually pick uh, with a blue, it's up to your choice. We'll, you know, play with it a little bit. Uh, stroke is the border around it. We could actually add a border in here with it. If you look at the border right now with an inside border, you could change this right here. Let's change this to about 20. And you can see there's a border that comes, there's a heavy border that comes into it. Let's give this about uh, 40. Let's make it a little thicker so we can see a little bit more border on it as well. You're going to actually come in, you can do a drop shadow on it. Um, I would like to do a drop shadow on it. So you can come in, click on this little bulb right here, and you can do an XY drop shadow. I'm going to give this about 40. 40. And then you can see this little drop shadow comes on the X and little drop shadow on the Y with it. Um, and then you can give it a color. Uh, let's, give, let's give that a spectrum of a different color with it. Um, let's give that a same shadow blue, kind of a little hay, kind of like a little fade out here and change that opacity a little bit with it. Uh, you can change that opacity a little bit and make it a little bit more gradient with it as well. So I'll make that about, it's four right now. I'm gonna, let me change that to about 20. 
and make that little fade drop shadow. We could see that maybe a little bit more with it, maybe about twice that. And you could see there's a little shadow that comes across with it as well. So that's, that's you could see, you know, playing around with it. Um, gives you a little bit more effects with it. Um, you can actually go in, you can, you know, hide your, 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 your rectangle and you can see there's still a, uh, a drop shadow that comes in with it uh, behind it as well. Um, these are the type of stuff that I, I want to show you, you know, play around with it. Um, um, take a screenshot of this if you could for me. Take a screenshot of your rectangle. Uh, pick a color of your choice. Give a 2,000 by 2,000. I just want to see you, you be able to navigate through all this. That's all it is with it. It's nothing hard with it as well. So take a screenshot of this and paste this into your assignment for me, please.